What's up, YouTube? This is Mitch, Wilderness Games. Uh, welcome to part two of the track and field cabinet, which has the Street Fighter II World Warrior in it. Cabinet is right here. So we've got it into the arcade, but I need to tear down some parts of it, like the bezel and all that, and clean it and get it at least so it's mildly presentable so it's playable I'm not gonna do the inside of the cabinet yet because that's like a job and a half it's gonna take like a couple hours of scrubbing everything down and I'm not doing that right now I'll pull it out of the out of the hole at some point um, and just do that one night but I'm not doing that right now right now I'm just going to um, put the monitor back in because I had to take it out to get it down here because it took a bunch of weight out of the cabinet and I also need to um, yeah hook up the monitor again and like clean the monitor because you know it's like dusty and stuff um, and like the bezel things like that once I can get that built in push it back in we'll fire it up and play a game and it will be like officially in the arcade like ready to go and then at some point on I'll I'll start the restoration process by cleaning it out and all that kind of stuff, you know, taking apart the control panel and joysticks and everything. All right, check it out. Join me here, hanging out in the basement arcade with the track and field cab. <laughs> So the monitor is screwed in in four places to the monitor shelf. That's the bottom of the chassis. And then it's also bolted in to the side brackets. I'm really curious what side art is on this, underneath this black paint. You can definitely see. Actually, while I got it open, I'll show you uh, the inside of the cabinet. Right on. Okay, so there's the side brackets. Nintendo does the same thing. That's why I inside of Nintendo cabinets is three bolts. Like those. One, two, three. Monitor gets bolted onto there. And you can see the... Um, the side right here that's that's what bolts to the side and the bottom excuse me it goes right here right there right there the screen is like really facing up it's a it's, it's an interesting setup but I mean this is a track and field cabinet it's not for fighting games it's not for uh Capcom Street Fighter 2, although that's what's in here, which again I'm excited about because this is my favorite fighting game of all time. So there's the jamming harness. Here's the Capcom board. It's actually surprisingly clean. So, the rest of the cabinet has like literally like dust like <laughs> dust dude <laughs> like dust for real but this is typical That's totally typical. 
So we're gonna clean this up. Not now. Now we're just gonna rebuild it, put the monitor back in. And uh right on. This is the bezel, the cardboard bezel. That's interesting. Huh. Is the wait a minute, is that is this Street Fighter art on cardboard? Or is this the track and field cardboard? Oh, let me see. That's Street Fighter. Okay. So the Street Fighter bezel is cardboard. Whoa, dude. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, look what I just noticed. Oh wow. Do you see that? Do you see that dust? Do you see that? That is why the game is so cloudy. Oh my god, ready? Ready? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. That's amazing. Wow. That's awesome. That's awesome. All right, anyways, and disgusting. <laughs> Look at that hard line at the bottom, huh? Nastiness. Okay, cool. I'm going to, uh, that's just a logo, a business logo. I'm going to, um, this thing's filthy. Filthy! I'm going I'm to throw the monitor in, and then we'll, uh, we'll clean it up. Um, I'm not sure how to pull the glass bezel just yet. But here's a side art, you can see. Total side art hidden in there, whatever that is. Dude, that's exciting. I mean, it's, you know, it was a track and field. But I didn't think track and field art went like that. Track and field art is the shape of the cabinet. And stops, like, right around here. I don't think they made Street Fighter II side art, did they? I don't know. I'll have to do some research. That'd be cool if it was there. I mean, it's going to get taken off anyways, but I'm just curious what that is. What are you? I don't know. So be very careful when you're moving your monitor. Um, if you hit the tube in the back, crack it, anything like that, you can destroy it. Not good. The flyback, that can be broken. I mean, if you, if you break the seal on that, the vacuum, it's game over done it's done just like uh you know tubes power tubes 12 ax 7s 12 at 7s el 34 6 l6s things like that you know um for guitar amps it's broken it's broken there's no going back all right here we go yeah, buddy. Okay. Put it down right here. Oh, These suckers are light. Said nobody. Alright. Wow, the monitor is filthy too. I'm gonna clean that before I put it back in actually. You guys got to see this monitor. Dude, that's ridiculous. Double-sided tape is actually covering like an inch of the actual screen. That's pretty dumb. Yeah, before I put it back, look at this. Ready for this? You ready? Man, why, why, why do the graphics look kind of blurry? amazing huh that's just great yeah let's go ahead and wash that a little bit shall we that's another level dude
filthy. Oh my. Paper towels, glass cleaner. I keep this stuff down here. I'm gonna go dry wipe first, just to get the bulk of it off if I can. This also showed me the burn that the monitor has, how bad it is. You know, if it's clean, it's easier to see. Actually has quite a bit of burn. It's got a lot of burn. You know what? That's track and field burn. How amazing is that, dude? I'll take that all day. As, as expected, it's a track and field monitor, track and field cabinet. It has track and field burn. See? There's the box right there where the scores go. Right, right below is where it tells you um, the required score, like what you need to do to qualify, qualifying score. Right? Down here is the tracks that you run on. You can like see the lines <laughs> for the hurdles and stuff, like the track. Oh wow. Yeah, dude. Track and field. <laughs> now we'll go to the liquid. Give it a liquid lunch. It's a good thing it wasn't dirty though, huh? That's after wiping it dry. This thing is special. I'll grab a fresh one. Dude, this grime is like thick. Look at this. Wow. Dude, that's insane. I've never seen anything like that. Look at that. Like this has already been wiped wet. And if you really scrub it hard, there's more. There's more layers coming off. My camera's acting crazy, sorry. It's not good, man. It like unzooms itself now. It cost me 2200 bucks. That's not good. I'm not down with that. I only got it like four years ago or something. Dude, I didn't know monitors could get like this. Making progress. All right, I'm gonna do some more of this and get back to you guys. Very obviously, uh, you can see first, second, third, fourth. Obviously, uh, track and field. <laughs> Ooh. 
Morning's a lot of burn. Oh well. At least it works. I'm gonna remove the bezel bracket, whatever they call it. I'm gonna take a nice shower tonight. Get all this nastiness off me. It's a little game, man. This is the price you pay. Literally. Let's see if I can pull it. Not destroy it. Well, it's certainly resisting. like taped in place. They got tape all in here. Oh man, I don't want to, I don't want to whip it and destroy it. Side of tape, probably 20 years old or more. It's not annoying at all. All right, well, let's pull the glass first then. Well, it might be plastic. Uh, we can't. Huh. Okay then, it's the same. These, this wood bracket is there. It's the same width. How does that work? What kind of what kind of wizardry is this? I wonder if by sliding it out a little bit, I can go in front of the bracket. In front, I can, and I have. Nice. And here it comes. Excellent. I'm gonna clean this real quick. All right. We'll be playing it in no time. No big deal. Okay, this is all set. It's uh, tinted. Has a nice gray tint to it. Let's go check out that cardboard bezel. It actually does look a lot better, huh? Wow. I never was a fan of the 90s neon coloring. Look at this hackery. Hacktastic, huh? It, so it would fit that space. I mean, it makes sense. They probably uh, designed it that way so you could fit a bunch of different monitors. Cut it to the right size. That's the track and field. Oh, wow. See it? Let me get this out for a second. That thing's literally two pieces. There it is. The remnants of the track and field cardboard bezel. There's the original. Track and field cardboard bezel. <laughs> Look at this control panel. 
Yikes. That's cool, that's correct though. Yeah, put right on. Just a piece of poxy glass. I'm hoping, I don't know yet. I'm really hoping underneath here are the holes for track and field. This is the track and field metal control panel that'd be super cool. There's a lot of layers on here, different different things here. See that? Black painted over purple. Hmm. Look at this. Look at this side on. You can pop it in and out. It's red. There's art like floating right here. Wow. I'm so tempted to tear it to see what it is. But I'll leave it. Imagine if the original track and field control panel was just underneath this. Look, look, this red. Look, dude. Red. Yeah, man, it's gonna be fun to mess with. Okay. Well, we'll mess with all this later. I'll pull this as a hinge. I'll pull this open and all that. Let's just get the monitor in. How's that look? I mean, just for now, right? Oh, it's not even a focus. It's awesome. You guys are looking at a screen out of focus. That's great. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Okay, the bezel's in. And again, I'm going to have this as a street fighter for probably several months before I buy everything I need turn it back into a track and field because it's it's gonna be like a couple hundred bucks to do it all you know 300 for the board 200 for the full art package you know I have to spend a little money but I'll probably end up spending about 650 700 max on everything including the cabinet I'll be done 700 bucks I'll have a painted nasty perfect track and field until then I'm gonna play some Street Fighter
nice and snug. You know, I'm doing this last one. I just uh, want to talk to you guys in a minute. Um, kind of have a dilemma. After this cabinet, I've got room for one more cab down here with how it's set up right now. And I don't know really if there's any other way to get another cabinet in here with another setup, you know? And so it's kind of like, like the best it, it could be right now, I think. So I got one more game after this and I really want a crossbow. It's like my, my grail, my ultimate game, my favorite. Star Wars is right there as well as like a real like game that I like a real love you know like man do I love that game Star Wars and Crossbow are like that's it for me you know um, but I also know I have this extra Street Fighter 2 board so maybe I'll get a Street Fighter cabinet like another one you know like one further down the line with more characters and then I'll be able to play the World Warrior one that I like a lot and it also have another board too for like when my buddies come over and stuff you know and so that's an option as well um, and another option is uh, that last cabinet so crossbow, Star Wars, Street Fighter or Robotron I actually know a Robotron. I know. I know a Robotron that I can get for a really good deal. And so, I mean, it needs it needs a lot of work. It needs a ton of work. Like the cabinet at the bottom would have to be rebuilt. A lot of water damage. Um, whatever, you know, it'd be something that I would have to put back together, you know, I'd have to build it, but I mean, it's like original cabinet, it was all there, it was, it was all there, um, it just literally, I have to like cut off the bottom, <laughs> and like, I don't know, buy a biscuit machine maybe, like, legit dude, I, it'd be some serious woodwork, um, I have to buy equipment to do it right. Tools I don't have. But I am pretty handy with wood. Um, because I carve a lot. But I mean, that wood is like, it's not really carving wood, you know? It's, it's like, um, it's all laminated, right? What they call that, you know, like the sheets? Anyways, plywood. Um, yeah, so, I have a, you know, I have a chance for this last cabinet to be Street Fighter 2. To be, or Street Fighter whatever, with a Street Fighter 2 a crossbow, assuming I ever find one. I've only seen two for sale, like ever. And uh, I couldn't get them at the time. Um, they were, I didn't have the money, they were expensive. And then Star Wars, which again, um, I had to pay a business partner like the same amount of money that that cabinet cost. So I had to pass on, on a Star Wars cabinet that was complete but non-working, like it just didn't power up, you know, is it just a power supply? Who knows? Um, but it like legit was just a dead machine, but everything was there, it was complete. It was pretty epic. Um, she was giving me a good deal. Anyways, so Star Wars are out there, and if you buy a broken one, you know, you can get them for normal prices, you know, still more expensive than other games that are working, <laughs> a broken Star Wars, but whatever. So my point is, is that I've got, you know, I've got some decisions to make. I've got a couple options, and it's rough. It's rough because I like Street Fighter 2 a lot. I don't think it's really good one-player game and two-player game. Um, I, I don't know. Like, I, I like it better than Blasteroids as a one-player game. You know, like I love Street Fighter 2. So, I don't know. But I don't know. Kind of thinking no on that because Crossbow is better to me crossbow is like bam star wars is bam you know that's like that's it and and i don't care about what other people think and collecting and all that like i buy the games <clears throat> that i want to play period you know um when i first decided that i wanted to collect games 
I thought of Stalker first because it's a uh, it's a game that I played like my whole life. I was at a campground that my family, you know, had a. I guess they still have their house up there, but um, you know, like extended family kind of thing. It's not like my dad owns it or anything, but um, anyways, yeah. And so, what's crazy is that this cabinet that I got, I got it like, it was bought by the guy four hours from the campground. So it's possible that that's literally the same cabinet from my childhood. Like, how ridiculous would that be? That's like the cabinet? What? Because um, they're pretty rare. They're like pretty rare. And again, it's just a super fun game, dude. Oh my god, you like whip the wheel and like fishtailing. It's the most graceful driver. Um, it's better than than Super Sprint, in my opinion. But it's made by like the same guys. Cause that's an Atari game, and Nolan Bush now created Balisenti after. You know, actually he bought it and then he kind of turned it into his own thing. Um, so like this, that's why like it's very similar to Atari games. Um, anyways, um, yeah, I bought that because I, I really wanted it. I have versus Duck Hunt because that's like, that's right up there. That might be like the cabinet. If I can only have a single cabinet ever, it'd be that one. That That's the one. Like, I get the world record on that cabinet. Like, I love that cabinet. I love that game. Um, I always have. Um, it's, that's that's always been my game. And I usually can't play it at the arcade because, um, like I did, like, when I was getting into it when I was a kid. But, I mean, like, even as a kid, I was getting, like, over half a million, 700,000. 700, like, I was getting big scores. And, um, you know, eventually got to the point where, like, I'm only there for three hours. Like, I can't play for an hour on this game like one game an hour gone you know right now as it is to get my record it took me like three and a half hours like single coin drop and i had to quit the game because my my camera ran out of uh you know the card ran out anyways but um yeah i mean people don't collect duck hunt <laughs> they don't care about that game i love that game so my point is i'm a player i'm super nostalgic um, I love the games I love for the reasons I love them, like, period. Like, I'm not a collector for collecting's sake. Um, like, I like some games that other people collect, like Dissatron, especially the environmental. It's like a $10,000 cabinet. Holy crap, that game is amazing to play. And that cabinet is incredible. You, like, go inside, and it's like you're in this locked-in zone, standing up, and you're playing, and, and, and um, the, the guy laughs at you and stuff. It's like, I guess it has the first game of speech. Um, I've actually, you know, I've played one. It's amazing like that like, like i would love a Dissatron just because it's incredible to play um again it's super collectible but like i don't care like who am i collecting who, who, who am i showing it to like, what is that like, i don't care about that at all you know uh, some dudes are into that and that's totally cool like everybody has their own thing um some guys like to collect stuff and they like to have like a super rare like amazing piece and i get that too like i understand that very much um, I do that with like other things in life, you know, um, I have a lot of different, you know, hobbies. Anyways, um, I, I don't want to do that with games because I only have room for a certain amount of games and I need to have those games first, which actually the reason why, I, like, okay, I just said first. So it kind of makes me think like maybe at some point. If I had enough room, after I got all the games I wanted to play, then maybe I'd pick up games that, like, I thought were cool, but, like, I thought were even cooler to have. So maybe, maybe it could happen to me, too. I don't know. Madness. Um, but anyways, um, yeah. So, what would you guys choose? If you just, you know, Street Fighter 2, Cabinet, for my last Cabinet, or, um, like, like, out of these, if you ever even play them or whatever. Or a Crossbow. Or Star Wars. Those are like the three options. And I'm going to have a track and field because uh, that game's amazing. Oh my god. Button mashing, like perfected. This is like the ultimate party game. So, anyways, just curious. Okay, so I'm going to finish this up. And I just wanted to chat for a minute about that. I have to do the screws. And this monitor, this has to be wired up. So, this here, well actually, 
that ground has to be hooked up right there to the screw. Which is really important because that grounds this chassis. This is a big deal. This is a real big deal. This one. That's the power, and then I gotta plug in the video feed. I also noticed, check this out. Ugh, man, this cab is ridiculous. You guys, you guys gotta see this. This is, yikes. Oh, yikes, the wiring. Do you see that? Are you kidding me right now? Dude, look at that. What? That wire. Right there. That's an open solder just sitting there on like an open wire, which looks like it might even be solder braid. You know, like what you use to like soak up solder. It's stapled to the cabinet. It goes down. It's like part of the wire harness. There's a bunch of stuff taped together over here. That wire continues. Look at this metal wire hanging out. Look at that. Metal wire. Soldered again. Just open. Just like crazy, dude. Like what? What is this? Oh my. Yikes. Yikes. There's all sorts of duct tape fixings going on up there. Pretty scary. So, yeah. I'm gonna have to eventually clean that up because that's shade-tastic hey check those out you guys ever seen those trap the uh, trapper keeper She has some art in there from like third grade for me. I should want to get this stuff out of here. I don't like that it kind of stains paper. Yeah man, that's old school. It's like second grade stuff for me. Not that a long time ago. I love this stuff, man. Like, moving around cabinets, like designing my arcade. Like, when I laid it out, like, just recently, a week or so ago, I changed it up to how it's set up now. I love doing that. It's gonna be so good once the track and field. I'm pumped. I can't wait to explore the art to see if it's still in here. Get some of that gooby gone and try to get all that paint off of it. Right, I'm gonna plug it in. Fire it up. Oh, that's a shame. That's not good. I gotta replace the power cord at some point. That's not good at all. Somebody ripped out. The ground. Whoa, that's really bad on an arcade machine. There it is, now it's on. I'll turn this off. Here it comes. Warning, schemes for use in the United States only. Other things. All right, monitor needs to be adjusted. 
the pink is like blooming. It looks a lot better though. Wow, does it look a lot better. It looks a lot better though. Wow, does it look a lot better. Please roll this dude, come on. Finally, my goodness. There it is. Oh, he tried to do it. Flying past him? Yeah, it's flying past him again. Yeah, man. Camera's not doing it justice either. It looks way better on the screen. Colors are all off. The red is like, the, like it's jacked. So yeah, you know, it needs to be adjusted. Also, the two-sided tape that I left on the screen, I'll have to take it off. <clears throat> it's like, you can see it. It's in the way of the monitor. So that that's no good. So, needs to be adjusted. Tape needs to come off. And eventually, it needs to get turned into... Uh, Track and field, obviously. Yeah, you see the red and the pink and stuff? It's all jacked. But that's all right. Cool, let's play a game. Maybe before we do that, I want to see what's up here. Man, I can't wait to take a shower tonight. Ugh, looks so dusty, nasty from touching this thing. <laughs> it's so gross. It needs a good cleaning, so do I. Let's see what's back here. Got poxy glass. We got tape. Hopefully there's no like dead like, mice or something, you know. We got a bulb and a fixture and dust. That's it. That's good. And this is just it's a 3M. I don't know, some, whoop, some random whatever. And it was custom cut a little too big for the space. So that's always nice. <laughs> it doesn't fit because it's a little too big. That's, come on now. Like, you couldn't get around the T-molding. Uh, I bunched it up. Uh, I think I'm just gonna rip this stuff off. That's fine. That's fine for now. My Donkey Kong was like this, like no plastic, just the, the, the fixture for a long time. Man, it took me months before I finally got a marquee for it. Well, I mean, I wanted a, uh, I wanted a, um, original marquee. I still do, but I wanted a original marquee for my DK. And there was one for sale. It wasn't that much, it was like 50 maybe. And, um, I didn't have my DK yet. I was gonna pick it up like in a month or something. I had a deal with my buddy Robbie or whatever and I was like, okay, I'm gonna pick it up soon. And then I ended up getting it, the cabinet, right? And I had to build it, I had to build that cabinet. But I ended up getting the cabinet, project cabinet. And um, then I went on, on eBay and it was already, it was gone. That marquee was gone. And so then I probably waited two or three months. And, um, and just finally bought a repro. So what I might do is, I think I got it from Mike's Arcade, along with the control panel, because I actually had a Donkey Kong Jr. control panel, um, and bezel too. I have that as well. But um, I, think about, I think what I might do is get a vintage Donkey Kong marquee, and I don't know what I'll do with the the repro. We'll do something with it. Maybe I'll put it up on like 
one of the Facebook groups, like, free. Just pay shipping. You can have it, you know? It's like, give it away. It's a gift. Maybe I'll do that. Alright, that's fine. I'm, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. Alright. Winners don't use drugs. They look so much better, yes. Um, is there sound on this game? There's no sound in the track mode. That's another thing I need to do is go through the, um, the dip switches. I need to get the manual online, go through the dip switches, make sure I put it on all the factory settings, and um, put sound on the attract. You know, there's kind of more to this that I haven't done yet. Uh, whatever, man. I saw this in some quarters inside the box. There's like a buck in there or something. Down or up LYB, anyone? Anyways. Sounds pretty good. The stereo's working. The colors are so crazy though. USA! Ken, who he's tough. Oh, I didn't make it up in time. Oh, I hit the wrong buttons. What's going on here? I don't know the controls on the arcade yet. Like the, the spacings of it? the kick, the bottom one? Shit, man, there it is. Yes, dude! My favorite move, an air throw. If he hit me, I would've died. Dude, that's like 30% of his health. So punches are all top, kicks are on bottom. All right. Ah, oh, crap. Thanks. Oh, come on, dude. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> also, the left side of the screen is slightly um, off. I need to compress. You know what I mean? Like the screen, it's too wide. Which is the vertical, um, the vertical potentiometer. Because it's really a up and up and down TV, I think, right? That's really the verb. Uh, I'm confused with that sometimes. Why am I on the right side? I set it up, my jump, to be on the, on the left. Like that. I, I'm still getting used to the, the, the distance. So I know, like, down to the pixel to land on the left or the right of the person. Round two, right. See, I was, I, was, I was gonna land behind him. Oh crap, I wasn't supposed to. No, see I land past him, I didn't mean to. I'm gonna have to work on that. Oh, get out of that. Get out of here, no way. E Honda, are you kidding me? You know what's funny? I don't usually mash like that on the um, Super Nintendo. I'm very concise, but I don't know the timing. The hitboxes are a little different in this. It feels The game feels different. And the joystick has so much play in it. I can move it a half an inch every direction. It won't do anything. And only, only when I max it out. Thanks, dude. Love it. Yes. Good night. Dude, I own a Street Fighter right now. This is so cool. And it's not even a Street Fighter game, not a Street Fighter cabinet. It's a track and field. So, yeah, I mean, I'll play, I'll play st me some Street Fighter while I'm um, trying to get all the parts.
crazy. No. Oh, get out of here. Ah! Dude, Dalsim, I've never lost him in my life. Are you kidding me? Get out of here, yoga flame, yoga fire. No, dude. Take a nap. Dalsim. That, that dude beats me, I'm in big trouble. How do you do this? All three kicks? Yeah. Got it, jump. Get over there. Again. Is it just like Super Nintendo where I can, if I press down, they'll go down, up? I don't know. There's you get like 22, I think, on Super Nintendo. A little faster. I can see the track and fuel burn. Can you guys see that? See the line going across? Totally see the track and fuel first, second, third, fourth. It's pretty bad. That's all right. USA, Guile, oh boy. This guy's flip kick is dangerous. There it is, oh, he tried to do it. Flying past him, yes, flying past him again. Uh, I didn't do it, didn't work. Oh, thank you. Past him? How did he punch me on the other side? Get out of here. Oh, I'm in big trouble. He's gonna kill me with that kick. There's a few ways to beat it. I actually, um, I noticed my left makes me crouch instead of walk. I actually jump past him. One way I beat him. Oh, that freaking kick. Oh, that kick. He's just gonna like, keep at it. Oh, dude, thank you very much. Come on, lightning kick, dude. Where's the crazy kicks? Uh, I just pressed the one player button. Yeah, I set him up to knock me out with that. Um, <laughs> I'm like missing buttons. I was pressing like player one. <laughs> I really gotta, oh wow, one losing your out, not two. I really gotta get used to these buttons. Hey, oh, let's continue. I've only played the arcade earlier today when I got this. I'm gonna press a couple at once and hold them. And it'll change colors. Yeah, I'm orange. Oh no, I'm blue. Um, oh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I almost got him. Oh crap. Oh, I missed it. Ah. Uh, do it. Oh man, if you get him to flash the wrong way. And then, um, and then you can throw them. I'm so dead. And then you can throw them. It's amazing. Like in the air. Oh, dude, I love it. Jump past them, get them to flash the wrong way. You turn around, throw them in the air, do huge damage. That, that's our strongest move. That's why I'm always trying to do it. Where's my kick button? There it is. Get out of here, dude. Shit. Thank you, love it. Flash it. Oh, you bastard. Kick, there it is. He did it, oh, it didn't work though. I must threw him for the win right there. Oh crap, if he hits me, I'm dead. Same with him. Yeah, dude, we both went for sweeps. His second sweep is longer. You gotta watch out, it'll hit you. Dude, that was a close match. This game is so good. Just, just get in there, man. Oh, what are you doing, controller? What the hell, man? I was, I just tried to walk up to him, to throw him, you know? And it made her jump. Man, I gotta fix this controller. It's That's unacceptable in Street Fighter. Like, I can't have a controller that's, like the joystick. It's not, um, I'm saying controller, because I'm used to Super Nintendo, but. 
You can't have a joystick be like garbage, you know? That doesn't work on these games. You, you need perfection. Yeah, dude, she's like orange over there. Oh, now she's orange here, but I finally figured out how to get an alternate costume. No, I didn't. Okay. Dude, this guy owns me. Oh my god! <sighs> Freaking Guile, man. He's always been rough for me, for my style, because I'm always in the air. It's really bad. Throw him, please. Get past him? That's crap, dude. That doesn't happen on Super Nintendo. Kick, please. Damn you. Throw him. Do it. Thank you. That friggin' kick. Try to land past him. I'll throw him for the win. Rough, man. This guy's insane. I can tell by uh, the way they're playing. It's not even at like. I usually like work my way up a difficulty on Super Nintendo and get to like six, seven, eight, like way up there, you know. And uh, I can tell by the way he's fighting. He's not. This is like four. A goddamn kick. Get out of there. I'll try. I'll try to stomp. Throw him, please, you bastard. Go past him. Thank you. So it worked that time. I have to walk further on this than I do on the Super Nintendo. I have to hold left longer. I'm gonna have to get used to that. It's very important. Yeah, he still, she still has the flip kick. Oh, I tried to do my helicopter kick. He's gonna hit me, shit. Oh, I missed it. Oh, he turned. Get him! Yes. Yeah, you hold down. For a couple seconds, press up and hard kick to do that. The lightning kicks are like, I think it's medium and hard on this, as hard as you can. Like as fast as you can, I mean, it's different. Super Nintendo, the combinations, you can hit like little. Also in this one, I noticed when you hit little, it does like a knee smash, which is not in the Super Nintendo. So this is different. What's cool though, is that this is the real version of the game. And what I'm used to on the Super Nintendo, that's, that's a fake game. Like, that's a port, you know what I mean? Like, this is the, like, legit, this is what the game really is. Like, I've never played the real game before. It's, like, one of my favorite games of all time. Yeah, see how the controller was doing that weird freak out and I try to walk? So imagine, like, one of my favorite games of all time, and I've never really played it. I played it the first time ever, Street Fighter in the arcade, in September on my birthday. Like, that was just, like, six months ago. Whatever, eight months ago. Um, that's the first time I ever did it. Get out of here. What is that? Take a nap. <laughs> you win. Okay, I don't like show me so you can see me in the gameplay. The... There you go. The, uh, what do you call it? Exploiter? Okay. This guy's hard too. Ah, that shit's fast. See 
you later, Chief. I think you guys can still see it. Ah, I need to jump there. Yeah, you see that? The one from the opposite sides. It's one of my, uh, it's one of my tricks. <laughs> His face. That's different than the uh, Super Nintendo as well. Oh, what the hell is this? What the? Dude, I've never seen this stage in my life. Barrels? Oh crap! Ah! Get back here! I think I missed two. What was that, dude? It was like a. Wine casks or something. This guy's tough. Oh crap, I went right into it. Done. Let's see if you can see me in it at the same time. On, you know? Cool. I'm gonna play this a little bit more. You gotta watch out for it when he starts going dragon punch happy. Got him. Yeah, man. I'm the strongest woman in the world, she says. Bosses. I've never fought the real ones before. Just the Super Nintendo version. Mike Tyson. I mean, Balrog. Holy crap. Ooh, he's about to do the big one there. Throw him. Bam. Alright. What? I landed on the wrong side. I didn't mean to do that. That was weird. Hey, I took that double tape off. It's driving me crazy. It's not hard to do. I just have to undo the, the front of this bezel. I'll be able to take all this off and get to it. I think it'll be a big deal. Alright, who's next? Saget, right? Oh, no, no, no. Not Saget. Um, what's his name? Vega. He's like me, but even more dangerous. Yeah! Dude, it is perfect, Vega! Sick! Yeah, dude. 50,000. Dude, Vega's nasty. Holy points. 5,500 big ones. No! Do it. Get out of here, you bastard. Uh-oh. <sighs> yeah. 
Yeah, buddy. This game is sick. 150 bucks. <laughs> Amazing. I can get that suicide battery out though. It's making me nervous. Oh, what is this? Another one? Is that on fire? If I break the bottoms. Okay then, I just like got hurt. Dude, they're like on fire. What the heck is this? Oh, we're in Russia that time. Oh, I didn't notice that. The, uh, the extra stages are in certain places. I never really noticed that. That's interesting. Um, I've never seen that bonus stage before. This is nuts, dude. A barrel stage? What was that? That was a... Flaming barrel stage? Sag it. This dude's the toughest guy in the whole game. Oh, crap. Shit. I'm not good with these controls yet. This, I just messed up. I missed my opportunity. Oh, man. Try to sneak in. This is, you know, I'm going after this guy. This is going to be fun. Round two, interesting. Shoot. Throw him! Get out of there. Yep. Gotcha. That's the key to that dude's uppercut. You have to do the down stomp. It's like medium kick down. You know, they really messed this game up. I'll talk to you later after. Uh oh. Ah. Oh, I didn't make it over. Fast. Get him! Yeah! Throwing him for the win. Um, the World Warrior, even on Super Nintendo, she can stomp down multiple times in the air and keep block bouncing off of him. After that, like in the, the Turbo or, or, or in Super Street Fighter 2, they got rid of that. And also, they made her shoot like bubbles. It's like totally retarded. And they screwed up all the hitboxes. You can't stomp more than once. And they gave her a new move, they ruined it. It's so bad. Oh crap, I totally walked into that. Shit. Come on. Get my, I gotta get my game on here. No, dude, I'm supposed to do a straight jump hard kick on that one. Like that. Ah, uh, but he got me. Come on, man, I gotta get this. I gotta get this guy. Beat the game. What happens when you beat the game in the arcade? That's why I gotta jump away first. Get out of there! Get out of there! It's freaking scissor kicks! Ah, oh, I pressed the wrong button, dude. Ah, I'm all messed up! I don't know the button. I keep missing them. I don't know the location. They're so spread apart on this control panel. It's brutal. See that? All spread apart there? It's like, there's a huge gap there. It's, it's not easy. I keep screwing up. Because the game's hard. And I'm just losing. This happens. But I'm also screwing up because sometimes I, I hit and miss the buttons. Um, got, instead of pressing hard punch, I'm pressing like right next to it. Look. It's hard punch. Dude, right next to it is uh, like one player. Several times. Absolutely stupid. Alright, here we go. Oh, I timed it wrong. Come on. No way. Get out of here with that. It's supposed to be a, a down kick. I couldn't get to it in time. I have to get used to this control panel. Ah! 
garbage. I really gotta get my stuff together, man. He doesn't fall as far as other people. You see that? Get out of here. Throw him. Shit. Ugh. Got him, dude. Yes. So his fire move, you got to do the down stomp. You have to hit him, like, right on the head or the hands, right in front. Or you, you get burned or, or, you know, if you don't, then, he, you know, he gets you. Yep, dude, that was happening. Now, I was trying to jump off a wall. Get out of here. Time to throw him. Dude, I just beat it. Yes. Let's see what happens. Death is avenged. Now that I have destroyed Bison. His drug will surely collapse? What the hell is that? Rest in peace, his drug will surely collapse? That was weird. And I can get back to being a girl. A young single girl. I love all like the words. It mentioned drug. Maybe it was empire. Maybe the word was missing. I wonder if this will hold it. We'll find out. I got that shut it off. Like, will it save with the score? I don't know. Game over. Let's test it. I'm going to shut it off. Oh, actually, I want to see the score first. What a thought. World Warrior. I'm, I'm, I'm really pumped to have this. I initially got it, really, for the cabinet to turn into a track and feel, but, I mean, I love this game. Come on, show me the scores, man. There it is, 612, uh, 12,004 points. First place. All right, let's kill it and see what happens. Oh, look at this. Ram okay, Street Fighter 2. Interesting. This game is used in the United States of America, Canada, Mexico only. CS Expo Aspiration outside these countries. We can steal this copyright, trademark, and freedom. It's strictly prohibited, violated, blah, blah, blah. Right, let's see the scores, man. Show me the scores. Well, thanks for hanging out with me and uh, doing the second part to bringing in the um, Street Fighter 2 slash track and field. Great deal. And I was able to clean it up a little bit. Um, the monitor looks a hundred times better already. No, it didn't save my score. I'm not there. So that's pretty typical. You know, Donkey Kong doesn't save scores like almost no games do. Um, yeah. So, anyways, I was able to clean it up and, and get it much better. Um, get rid of that double-sided tape. Yeah, it was so dirty. But yeah. So right on. Thanks for hanging out. It's in the arcade now. It's a shame that the. Um, oops. that the track and field cardboard bezel was destroyed. I gotta fix those lights too. I mean, that is a sweet cabinet, man. I can't wait to get it painted up like track and field. I gotta put all my backpacks back and everything. I have all my, you know, stuff set up right over there. I gotta put them back. But, so that's so what I got. Duck Hunt. Donkey Kong. Blasteroids. Stalker, 
drop down my exposure so you can actually see it. Right on. A CI. So all my cabs have a lot of work. I got tons to do. I have to fix control panels, monitors, lighting. And there's a RAM issue there, I think. This needs tons of stuff. There's no coin door box, nothing. No T molding, no paint. I gotta bondo some stuff. The front of the wood is missing. Is madness. My duck hunt's pretty, uh, pretty straight. That's my best cabinet, I think. Um, my pole position too. <laughs> yeah, that's where it's at. So I can take the door off and work on it. I bought it oh, a year and six months ago, and it's yet to be playable. I fired it up once, and the screen was all garbled. Um, yeah. And then I damaged one of the, um, let's see, you have the edge connector and the edge pins. Edge pins are on the board, edge connector is what clicks in. When I was clicking it in once, it like pulled up one of the pins. I was lucky it didn't like roll it or rip it off or anything. So. I'm gonna epoxy that back on with um, electronic epoxy and it's like a whole thing. So I'm gonna do that. There's a lot of work. All these games need work, but um, you know, when you get games for like, you know, the classic poor scores, you know, and you get them for like 150, 200 bucks, you know, that's that's what happens. You, know, you, gotta, you gotta fix stuff, everything's broken. So, yep, so this was 150 bucks today. And uh, I'm really happy to have it. Um, my favorite fighting game ever, for now. And then it'll be my favorite button mashing game ever, track and field. So, this has been Mitch Wilderness Games. Thanks for hanging out with me. Um, I know this video's long, but, you know, I just wanted to hang out and fix this cabinet and, and take you along. Because if not, then, you know, I would just be doing this and, you know, you wouldn't be here to hang out and see it too. I really like to watch videos like this where people are rearranging their arcades, moving stuff around, filling holes, trying to fix games, troubleshoot problems, um, you know, like how I was doing, you know, how, like with the cardboard bezel and how, you know, I just have to like dig this stuff out, how I just kind of go from one thing to another. There's a billion more things to do on all these cabinets, including the track and field slash Street Fighter. I could have just kept going, you know, open up the control panel on and on and on and on, um, you know change the bulbs it just it, will, it just it, it like never ends until the game is like pristine so none of my games are really like that so it's a lot of work and um, I like to watch other people work on arcade cabs and um, their monitors and stuff like I like to watch them like install like cap kits which is like got to be the most boring thing ever right you just like taking a capacitor and like soldering out the old one and putting in the new one you know times 12 <laughs> just it's pretty boring, right? But I dig that. I like that stuff. Um, I like all aspects. And I like watching people function and do it. Because um, if I didn't have that, I wouldn't have the framework to do what I do. You know, I've only been doing this for a year. A year and six months. So um, I'm still learning. And I've learned a lot already from watching other people just function in their basement arcade. So... Um, figured I'd share as well so you guys can watch somebody else because maybe the other people haven't done a video on like things that I've done you know I mean I, I'm positive I've never seen anyone do what I just did you know, on their video with the cardboard bezel and all that stuff so alright this has been Mitch Willis Games <laughs> see you guys in the next one later